Hello, I am currently at a very busy, busy, busy Animal Kingdom. It is the official week of Christmas, which I should have known better than to do this, but I'm about to be blocked out for three weeks, so I figured I might as well come. Um, Animal Kingdom recently got a bunch of new vegan options, and so I'm here flying solo, so I'm only gonna try one of them. Um, but I did let Instagram choose where I'm going, so I'm going to be heading to um, Flame Tree Barbecue, which is over there. Um, they have a new option, it's called Impossible Burnt Ends. It used to be like a sausage sandwich situation, um, however, now it is no longer that. Um, so I'm here to try that, and then I am going to just get out of here because it's very busy, so let's go try it. Right, so that was the fastest I've ever gotten a mobile order. I literally hit, I'm here preparing my order while I was standing where I shot that very beginning thing. Walked over to take like a picture and a video of like the menu board and then was like, I'm just gonna pull up the app and just see, and I said it was ready. Never had that happen. Um, so that's cool, uh, especially with how busy it is. So when you get the Impossible Burnt Ends, it comes with a coleslaw. One of my friends has warned me that this is not good, so really looking forward to trying that based on his advice and then um, these are the burnt ends themselves so they are impossible based um, with like barbecue sauce basically on it I've never had burnt ends before I'm not from the south so I apologize if I just like review this terribly but I'm not a big barbecue gal but here we are so you get a, a good amount of them um, they have like a seemingly nice edge to them. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know, I don't know. You tell me, not sure. They are very firm. It's one of them that wants to do it. So here is one of the pieces. Give it a try. It's good. Um, not amazing. Tastes like a burger with barbecue sauce, if I'm being honest. Um, but it's not bad. There's like a little sweetness to the barbecue sauce. I don't know. There's, it's sweet. It's got like a little bit smoky. Not super flavorful. Very, 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 very mild little heat to it. Definitely nothing that I would say is like heat, but, um, it's good. Uh, also, I apologize for how many times the sniffle. It's in the 50s, which is Florida cold, so the fries are cold. But they taste good and they're always crispy and I can't complain. They just always get cold so fast because they're so thin. And then the coleslaw. It's very uh, messy. <laughs> this will be fun. It literally just tastes like apple cider vinegar. I don't know if it's supposed to have anything else to it. Like I love apple cider vinegar. Um, but the texture of this is like too soft for me. Like it's been soaking for a little, a little too long. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Like, are you supposed to eat it with the burn ends? I don't think I would like that. But I think if this was like on something, like if it was on like a sandwich of some sort, then we wouldn't notice how strong of a flavor it is. Um, and the texture might not be bad then, but I think on its own? Probably not. I don't think I'll continue eating that, but these are good. I like the sausage they used to have. I'm trying to remember what all was on it. I'm not, I would get barbecue sauce sometimes to put on it. I had like crispy onions and stuff and it was pretty good, but It's 
It's a nice little change. I'm here for it. Back to where I was out of the way of all of the sea of people. Um, the food was actually very good. I, I don't, I didn't know what to expect from brands. I didn't know if they were supposed to be soft or if they were supposed to be like, dare I say ribs, um, which I never liked as a kid eating meat. Um, so I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it or not, but it was surprisingly very enjoyable. The Impossible was very firm, um, which was really nice. So it had a good texture to it. The flavors had like a little bit of sweetness to it and like the smoky, it was, it was yummy. Um, again, the fries were cold, but that's nothing new. Um, the coleslaw was trash, uh, so I wouldn't ever eat that part of it again, but everything else about the meal was really good. My food came super quick. I absolutely love Flame Tree Barbecue just strictly for their seating area because one, it is massive. There is so many places to sit. You can sit in the sun, you can sit in the shade. There are places that overlook the water and you can see Expedition Everest. There's this beautiful fountain area. There's just so many places that you can go and it's a great place just to like take a break even if you aren't eating there. Um, so I highly recommend just going and exploring down there someday because it's very beautiful. But overall, delicious lunch. Thank you Instagram for choosing our lunch today. Um, I guess I'll come back in a couple weeks when I'm allowed and um, try some of the other options. So there's a new option at Kusafiri. Um, it's a Impossible Gatsby. And then there is a new option at Harambe Market, which is now not the sausage thing. I'm trying to remember. I think it's another Impossible thing. Everything's Impossible. Um, and then Pizza Fari has a new vegan sausage dish. So that's another thing that's not Impossible, but it is also still faux meat. Um, but I do think I need to come back with Gina and do all the gluten-free stuff because this dish was gluten-free. I did see that you can order it gluten-free on the app as well. So for my gluten-free vegans, you can still have this guy. So, hey. Thanks for watching.